Our tale begins in the ancient lands of the Celts, where the rustling leaves whisper the approach of Samhain, the festival heralding the arrival of winter. As the summer's warmth yields to autumn's chill, the Celts prepare for a celebration like no other. Celebrated from October 31st to November 1st, Samhain marks not just the end of harvest, but a fleeting moment where the veil between our world and the spirit realm thins, opening doors to the unknown. The Druid priests, the spiritual leaders, usher in the festival with a grand bonfire, a beacon for the spirits, and a shield against the encroaching darkness. As the flames soar skywards, so does the villagers hope for a protected winter. And as night descends, the village morphs into a realm of revelry and mystique. The villagers, now camouflaged as creatures of lore, dance around the bonfire, blending the human with the supernatural. It's a night of feasts, tales, and ancestral honor, a night where the mystical Puka receives offerings, and the headless Lady Guan roams with a black pig by her side, chasing night wanderers. The night is filled with tales of heroism and eerie myths, Stories of Fionn McComhale facing the fire-breathing dweller Aelin echo through the night, binding the present with the ancient, the mortal with the divine. As dawn breaks, the villagers carry the embers from the communal bonfire to rekindle their home hearths, symbolically carrying the protective spirits with them until the next Samhain, where they'll again dance with the unknown. As the shadows lengthen, Painting the village in shades of dusk, a mystical transformation is at play. The Celts believed on the eve of Samhain, the veil separating the world of the living from the realm of the dead, grows thin, almost transparent. This was not a time of fear, but of reverence. A time where the finite meets the infinite, where whispers from the other world could reach the ears of the living, carrying messages from ancestors long gone. The ancient Celts revered this time, for it allowed a communion not just among the living, but with the spirits of the ancestors. The Ao Si, also known as fairies, were believed to cross between realms, mingling with the mortals in a celebration transcending the earthly plane. The thin veil also bore the gift of foresight. The night of Samhain was considered most auspicious for delving into the mysteries of the future. Through quaint yet profound rituals, the villagers sought glimpses into what awaited them as the wheel of the year turned slowly towards winter. And as the night deepened, the villagers, with hearts filled with reverence, left offerings for the spirits, honoring the dead and the ancient traditions that tethered them to the mysteries beyond the veil. As the whispers of time carried the tales of Samhain through the ages, a new era dawned upon the Celtic lands. With the spread of Christianity, the spiritual tapestry of these ancient folks began to intertwine with the threads of a new faith. The Christian leaders, seeing an opportunity to blend the beloved pagan celebration with Christian ideology, began to reframe Samhain. In the fifth century, Pope Boniface shifted the celebration to May 13th, dedicating it to the honor of saints and martyrs. However, the essence of Samhain continued to echo through the hearts of the people, undeterred by the passage of time. By the 7th century, the Catholic Church embraced the enduring spirit of Samhain by establishing November 1st as All Saints Day, a day to commemorate all saints of the Church. The eve of this holy day, October 31st, inherited the mystical charm of Samhain, now under a new guise, All Hallows' Eve. As All Hallows' Eve merged with the ancient traditions of Samhain, it carried forth the essence of celebrating the mysterious, albeit with a new Christian identity. The day before All Saints' Day became a bridge connecting the ancient pagan roots with the evolving Christian traditions. With time, the term All Hallows' Eve was lovingly shortened to what we now call Halloween. And as the calendar pages flutter in the winds of time, the celebration evolved. But the ancient heart of Samhain continues to beat in the modern revelry of Halloween, a testament to the enduring bond between the old and the new, 
As the leaves of time turned, the mystical allure of Halloween sailed across the vast Atlantic with the Irish and Scottish immigrants seeking refuge on American shores. The 19th century witnessed a significant migration, especially during the Great Irish Famine in the 1840s, bringing along the beloved tradition of Halloween to the New World. Among the cherished traditions was the tale of Stingy Jack, a lore that birthed the carving of jack-o'-lanterns. The legend, intertwined with moral lessons, found a new home in the heart of American culture, resonating with the spirit of community and creativity. The tale of the jack-o'-lantern takes us back to the rustic villages of the British Isles. Here, the ancient tradition of carving ghastly faces into turnips and mangle wurzels was a cherished practice, especially as Sawin, the precursor to Halloween, neared. These eerie lanterns were not just a festive spectacle, but carried a deeper narrative rooted in the legends of the land. The name Jack-O-Lantern springs from an old Irish myth about a cunning man nicknamed Stingy Jack. Legend has it, Stingy Jack tricked the devil and managed to escape the clutches of both heaven and hell. However, his cleverness came at a price. He was doomed to wander the earth with only a lantern to light his way, thus birthing the term jack-o'-lantern. As Irish and Scottish immigrants brought the tradition across the waters to America, they found a new canvas for this ancient artistry, the native pumpkins of the continent. Pumpkins, with their smooth surface and hollow interior, proved to be a more fitting and, indeed, whimsical medium for this age-old tradition. Today, the jack-o'-lantern has become an emblem of Halloween, its flickering flame a playful nod to its legendary origins. As families gather to carve pumpkins, each stroke of the knife and every cackle of laughter honors a tradition that has journeyed through time, from the verdant lands of Ireland to the bustling heart of modern America, illuminating the night with tales of mischief, lore, and community. As the years rolled by, the essence of Halloween blossomed in the American soil, morphing into a community-centered celebration. The eerie nights of Samhain transformed into jovial parades and town-wide parties, where the veil between the mundane and the mystical was celebrated with a touch of American zest. From the humble beginnings of honoring the spirits and seeking the unknown, Halloween in America evolved into a celebration adorned with trick-or-treating, haunted houses, and a touch of commercial allure. Yet amidst the laughter of costumed children and the clinking of candy-filled buckets, the ancient whispers of Sawin still echo, binding the past with the present in a night of whimsical wonder. Today, as the eerie yet comforting darkness of Halloween night descends upon the land, the magic of Sawin lives on, a testament to the timeless bond between tradition and evolution, between the old world and the new, between the mysteries of the unknown and the joy of discovery. As time passes and the days on the calendar turn, we find ourselves in the center of a busy city. Yet the spirit of Sawin lives on, morphing into the modern celebration we all eagerly await as October draws to a close. Today, Halloween stands as a confluence of cultures and traditions, a night where fantasy reigns, and every ghost, ghoul, and goblin comes to life. The once solemn commemoration has now blossomed into a night of playful frights and delightful scares. The age-old tradition of carving jack-o'-lanterns continues as families gather, wielding their carving knives to bring to life grinning pumpkins that ward off the spirits of the night. The streets come alive with the laughter and shrieks of costumed children as they go door to door, uttering the magical phrase, trick or treat, a modern echo of the ancient tradition of guising. And as the night sky twinkles with stars, adults too partake in the revelry, donning disguises and reveling in the camaraderie that Halloween brings, a nod to the community celebrations of yore. Across the globe, the essence of Halloween has transcended borders, each culture adding its unique flavor to the celebration. Yet the core essence of honoring the unknown and reveling in the mystical 
remains untouched. Halloween's allure has crossed oceans, weaving its mystique into the fabric of many cultures. Let's embark on a global voyage to discover how different lands revel in the spooky spirit. In Mexico, Latin America, and Spain, Halloween ushers in a heartfelt celebration known as Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. This three-day festivity, starting on October 31st, honors the departed souls believed to return to their earthly abodes. Families create elaborate altars adorned with candy, flowers, photographs, and the deceased's favorite foods and drinks, inviting the spirits for a celestial reunion. As candles and incense burn, families gather at gravesites, sharing stories and memories, often accompanied by the cheerful tunes of a mariachi band. Over in England, the evening of November 5th sparkles with the fiery glow of Guy Fawkes Day. Though not related to Halloween, this tradition has a spark of the macabre. Commemorating the execution of the notorious traitor Guy Fawkes, bonfires light up the night sky, with effigies of Fox set ablaze amidst a spectacle of fireworks. Children roam the streets with their effigies, asking for a penny for the guy, a practice reminiscent of trick-or-treating. Back to the cradle of Halloween, Ireland continues to celebrate with a blend of the old and the new. Children dress up in costumes, going door-to-door -door for treats, embodying the ancient tradition of guising. The night resonates with laughter, as families and friends gather for parties, engaging in games like Snap Apple and treasure hunts. The heartwarming tradition of eating barmbrack, a fruitcake concealing tiny treasures for telling one's future, adds a touch of magic to the night. In Germany, Halloween, or Halloween of Deutsch, blossomed in the 1990s. By mid-October, decorations begin adorning homes and Halloween-themed parties are thrown. The celebration extends to November 11th with Matin Stag, where a lantern procession lights up the night, blending Halloween's spooky charm with a German touch. Halloween has also found its way to the bustling streets of Hong Kong, taking on a commercialized allure. The city immerses itself in the spooky spirit, with elaborate decorations and themed events that captivate both locals and tourists alike. From ancient Celtic roots to worldwide revelry, Halloween's journey is a captivating tale. Today, it unites us in joyful spooks and sparks imagination, a playful bridge between the past and the present. As we celebrate, we continue a cherished tradition of exploring the mystical under the gentle glow of the October moon.